Good morning, guys. And for the first time on uh, the stage of India Inclusion Summit, we have a speaker the size of a collar mic. Well, <laughs> this reminds me, uh, I think uh, my parents are here, and uh, for the first time, my parents are seeing me talk on the stage. Right? Uh, and this reminds me, actually, uh, I think uh, two, three years ago, uh, one of my friends, he was working with this uh, regional party called BSR Congress. There was some uh, roadshow, some rally, he wanted me to talk. So I just, I'm not into politics, no. <laughs> but I'd just gone there. He said, you're a good speaker, just come, speak my name. We'll be hit and stuff. So I was there, and uh, the TV channel wanted a bite. So uh, the TV guy calls the uh, party guy and says, you know, send me somebody, I want a bite. Send me somebody as solid as a coconut tree. And I, I go there. And uh, this guy is like, looks at me, like, banda aada hai, baki ka ka. He's like, where's the coconut tree? This guy says, no, 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 the coconut tree is there. He's just bonsai, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, today uh, I'm talking about labeling the specially abled people, you know? No offense to any of you guys, I, I might offend you guys. If you're going to belt me one at a time, take me to a corner, please. <laughs> right? So uh, I remember when I was a kid, uh, at home I was treated very normally, you know? Once in a week, my mom used to bribe me. Five rupees if you, you know, she gives me a mop and she says, if you do, do the work, five rupees. And, you know, I had to clean my own room. Now she's wondering now, then why don't you clean your room now? <laughs> Sorry, ma. So uh, I, I, I was brought up like that, all right? I used to do all my work, you know? All my general day-to-day -day work was done by my, uh, me, myself. So, uh, however, when I go out, whenever I go out, people look at me differently. You know, like, oh, oh. And uh, for a long time, I, I couldn't understand why people felt sorry for me. I mean, what was the problem? Right? I, I was never able to make sense out of that. And uh, yeah, I took advantage, you know. I was like, people give me free stuff, get pampered. Yeah, why not? But I, I, I realized that is the problem with us. You know? How the society looks at us decides the rest of our lives. <laughs> it's, it's funny, the, the, the kind of terms that we use, you know, physically challenged, this one funny term. The, uh, uh, the only physical challenge that I remember, again, my parents are listening to it for the first time, uh, the only physical challenge I remember was uh, relationships. No, don't start thinking it was not that. Uh, but I always used to uh, be in long distance relationships. Not that the women I dated were all out of town, but they were all 5.9, 5.10, I'm just five. <laughs> but otherwise, I don't remember uh, any other uh, physical challenge as such. Oh, it's, it's, it's very funny. What are, the, what are the names that you've heard? Specially abled, how many of us have heard specially abled? Right? That's another funny term. If, if we were specially able, at least if I was, I would want to save Gotham. I think Spider-Man is specially able, man. Soup, a web, special abilities. That is special abilities. What is the special ability we have? We're one among you guys, man. Shit. Don't use these, these words. Why the label? Why, why do we have to live with a name? Well, guys, tell me, guys, uh, what are the names that you've heard? Words, just, just come up with words. Why are you all silent? Just come up with words. Disabled. My God. Handicap, yeah. See? Sorry? Differently abled. Yeah, we're all differently abled from... Correct. Physically disabled, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I do not even want to get to other terms. Uh, funny, funny terms, right? Why, why the label? See, uh, there are, th th there's so many people among us doing so much to enable us. Okay, at one point, we were differently abled, specially abled. But today, look at the number of achievers here. Are we all, aren't we all enabled to stand on our own feet? You look at me, tell me one special ability you see in me. 
No webs coming out, guys. That's the special ability I'm talking about. See, I, I, I think I was physically uh, handicapped, disabled, or whatever it was, till one point in time of my life. But after that, I, I, I worked so much, I worked so hard. But even now when people call me, oh, he's physically, you know, whatever, it is pissing off. Makes me angry. As much as I laugh about it, it is frustrating, right? Why the names? How long do we have to live with the names for? We are thinking about an inclusive India. Guys, if we are thinking about an inclusive India, let's forget these special terms. I think that's the first step. At least I think, I think, quote, I think this is the first step that we have to take. Now, uh, another thing. Uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of articles about me, uh, a lot of interviews, everyone says, he rejected the handicap quota, he did that, he did this. Okay, my brother is normal, okay? He's uh, even more weird, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. He, he's as good as me or even better than me, but nobody talks about him. Why? Even, even he's a good salesman, he can do brilliant stuff, but why does it have to be like, oh, this guy, he's like this, and he did this. That is kick ass. There are so many people, if, if we're talking about an inclusive India, talk about achievers equally, guys. I rejected handicap quota not because I wanted to reject it, because I had no choice. I had to survive. Do that to people and India will be inclusive. We'll all work our asses off. Make us starve for a day or two if we don't earn our food. Do that, guys. Then we'll all you know, earn our own bread and butter. We'll all be good. Don't make a big deal about rejecting quota reservations and all that. But yeah, uh, now this reminds me. Uh, there are a lot of stand-up comedians in India of late saying we want reservations. Uh, that guy's name, I, do, I, I will not take his name, but uh, his, his name is uh, pronounced like the word pneumonia. You know, the first three letters of his name is silent. Uh, yeah, no offense. Yeah, so uh, I'm launching a nationwide campaign called uh, Unreserved India against the reservation system. And I am against reservation of all kinds. No, nobody especially able. Nobody, here we all fight to be backward, guys. You know, I'm backward. Job de do, khana de do. <laughs> so I'm launching this campaign. It's a nationwide campaign against comedians and political people who want reservations. So uh, I would need your support. And I would uh, conclude my talk with this. I, I don't know, I'm not a big speaker and all that. So if I've done a mistake, please. Forgive me. Yours faithfully, Ajit Babu. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Mike, Mike. You can definitely turn turn technology into a different a different dimension altogether, right? Um, Ajit, why don't you please sign us on our beautiful painting? So, when we talk about technology, I know we get a lot of information nowadays, right? They're on social media, there's television, and there's your outlook as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Deepa. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>